Hi everyone, I'm Mike Stone and I'm the VP of Education and Sonography at Butterfly Network and I want to walk you through biplane imaging. So biplane imaging allows us to see a structure in two orthogonal planes simultaneously. In other words, you can see a short axis image of a structure and a long axis image at the same time to improve our confidence as to needle location during ultrasound guided needle insertions. This can be used for a variety of procedures vascular access, whether central venous catheters, peripheral IVs, arterial lines, or guiding a needle insertion during an ultrasound guided nerve block or a musculoskeletal procedure. So in traditional imaging, we're in B mode or 2D, and we're used to getting a two-dimensional slice of a structure and seeing it just in that plane. So if I take the IQ Plus and put it onto this tissue phantom, we can see a simulated vessel, in this case, in a short axis plane. If I want to look at it in a long axis, however, I need to take off the probe, rotate it 90 degrees, and place it back down to obtain a longitudinal image of the same structure. Biplane imaging allows us to do that at the same time without having to re-manipulate the probe. And I'm going to go ahead and go into my Actions tab, and I'm going to select Biplane. And what we can see here is that we're now going to have two simultaneous images on the IQ screen. And on the bottom image, we have a long view of this vessel. On the top image, we have a short axis view. Now, on the bottom, the B corresponds to the blue dot on the ultrasound probe on the IQ+. And on the top image, the butterfly icon on the left corresponds to the butterfly icon on this side of the IQ+. So that tells me that on the top image, the butterfly icon here corresponds to left side of the screen, and the opposite side corresponds to the yellow indicator, this bright line, on the other side of the screen. Now, biplane is really intended for in-plane procedures, and the resolution on the bottom image is optimized for an in-plane needle insertion. And if we go ahead and look at how this appears with a needle insertion, We'll go ahead and get a good image of the vessel, the target vessel, in a long axis on the bottom. And we can see we're centered into a short axis image on the top. And as I insert the needle along the blue dot side of the probe, we can see the needle insertion beginning on the bottom image. Now, the bright green line here, this vertical line, that corresponds to the plane at which we're seeing the short axis. So if I want to see the needle tip in short axis, I need to cross that plane. Now, I may go ahead and insert all the way just to illustrate it here. You can see now we've got this bright dot here on the top of the vessel, and that corresponds to the short axis image of the needle tip. If I wanted to see it sooner, I could simply slide that imaging plane closer to the needle and now I'm able to see needle tip all the way back here. As we go ahead and complete this, let's put the plane where I anticipate intersecting the vessel. I can now direct the needle into the vessel and I can see that I'm centered very nicely in the vessel. Now if I had taken a less ideal approach and let's say I were off to the side, on the bottom image it still looks like I'm doing pretty well but on the top image, you can see that the needle tip is towards the left side of the screen with regards to the center of the vessel. Now, I know that that side corresponds to the butterfly icon side on the IQ+, and I can simply move away from that to center it. So this is what Bioplane affords us. It's a simultaneous two-plane image of a structure of interest that allows us to guide our needle with precision. A couple of other things to illustrate. Lots of providers like to do ultrasound guided procedures out of plane. So let's look at what that looks like in biplane. In this case, we now have the structure of interest in a short axis on the bottom image and in a long axis on the top image. Biplane isn't designed for this approach, for an out of plane approach. As you can see, by you could simply move the imaging plane and now you're not going to see anything of interest on the top image. But if you'd like to perform a procedure this way, make sure that the section goes directly through the um, structure of interest. And then if we start to insert out of plane,
we can see the long axis or in-plane image on top that the needle is approaching and on the bottom image we can see that the needle tip is within the image. So you can still get a biplane image in this view, although you'll notice that the top image of the longitudinal insertion is not nearly the same quality as the image that we see when we're using it as intended for an in-plane procedure. Lastly, I want to illustrate that biplane works at the same time as needle viz. So if we go ahead and go back to our actions menu and activate needle viz, we are going to get a blue highlight over the needle as, it, as it's uh, being inserted into the tissue. And in this case, it's saying insert from the left, which is towards the blue dot, which is facing me, so I know I'm doing that correctly. And I'll go ahead and insert the needle. And as I do that, we can see that blue highlight over the needle on the bottom image. We can adjust the needle gain by swiping left or right on the screen. So I could decrease the needle gain. I can increase the needle gain. I can also go ahead and change the angle of insertion. And in this case, it's a shallow angle, so 40 degrees wouldn't be ideal. But 20 or 30 degrees would give me the best visualization possible on that needle as I insert. And in this case, I'm able to see a really nice image of the needle highlighted in blue. As it crosses the plane, I can see that again in short axis on the upper image. So that's needle visualization with biplane simultaneously. And if you want to remove needle viz, simply press the X, and now you're back to, to biplane alone. And if you want to remove biplane again, Press the X and you're back into a two-dimensional image.